is going on, Bobbylicious boys and girls? Welcome back to Bobbylicious Gaming, or should I say, Bobbylicious Cooking, because that's right, we're back in my kitchen. We're gonna be doing some cooking today. You've been here once before, we made mac and cheese, it was all right. But now we're here again, because you know what? Second time's the charm, second time for everything. N neither of those are, are a phrase, but that, that's fine. So for this, well, second, I suppose, episode of cooking, I was like, well, let's go back to the basics. The first game I've ever played on here was Cooking Simulator, and it had some recipes, and my mind thought, well, are those actual recipes? They put those things together, and you had to follow the directions and make something that was serviceable, but does it actually even taste good? Did they do actual research and, like, put together competent recipes that taste okay? And, you know, wouldn't you know it, we're in fall time, the season of pumpkins, and there was pumpkin soup that we cooked. So I was like, what the heck? Let's try all three versions of the pumpkin soup from Cooking Simulator. See if they're actually any good. And if they are, hooray. If they're not, well, I tried. And that's where we are. And that'll be part of the fun too. So here we go. Without further ado, let's make some pumpkin soup. All right, let's talk ingredients, which I have beautifully displayed here on my cutting board. Uh, first things first, of course, pumpkin. The star of the show. It's in the name. It's what you're expecting. Um, we've got uh, chicken broth, of course, um, because, you know, th that's the liquid part. Um, cilantro, that's for a garnish. Um, this is a lot of cilantro, it's literally just for a garnish, and if you're asking, are you going to use the rest of that cilantro after you're done, the answer to that question is no, because I really don't like cilantro. <laughs> um, we've got bread, that's for a, a, a kind of a dressing at the end, on the, on the very highest tier of the pumpkin soup. Uh, for spices, we've got salt, pepper, and thyme. Those are the only spices that we're using here. Um, I wanted to get fresh thyme because that's what it called for, but I literally went to the store twice on two separate days, and they had no fresh thyme. Someone had, and everything else was stuck. Someone had literally come in and bought all of the fresh thyme, and it was just gone. One would say that those people probably have too much thyme on their hands. Uh, next up, we have onion. Just onion. Um, just, I got a yellow onion. Uh, lemon, this is a special ingredient, a secret ingredient. We'll hold on to that for later. Uh, and then garlic, again, I could have used probably things, but I wanted fresh garlic, so there we go. So that's all the ingredients that you're gonna need. There you go. The next thing I wanna talk about real briefly is just the measurements, um, because everything in the game was in metric units, um, and I am living in an imperial world, and I am a, an imperial girl, and I just, I, I had to do some calculations, uh, you know, these are, these are my calculations for what was gonna go over to America units. Um, the other thing was time. Obviously in a video game setting, it's fast paced, so 90 seconds that it's boiling on the thing is not 90 seconds in real life, so I'm kinda upscaling the time, but there's really no set time, so we're just gonna try it. We're gonna see how we go. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the pumpkin. I'm sorry? What, what's this on my head? Oh, uh, this is just a GoPro. Uh, so that you can have a Bobby's eye view of what's happening in here. I was like, hey, let's have two camera angles. What the heck? Whatever. Okay, let's cut this pumpkin. We gotta, we gotta get. There's gook in here. If you've made a jack o' lantern, you know there's gook in here. So let's just, let's just. This is not a good knife. Ooh, there's just juice coming out the top. I'm just gonna throw it out there. I've never worked with, with uh, fresh pumpkin before. So this is gonna be an adventure for all of us. <laughs> There's a better way to do this. There's definitely a better way. <laughs> There's a better way to do this. Oh. Also like to point out there that I'm wearing this flannel and I'm making soup even though it's actually 90 degrees still here in Phoenix on October 29th. Can this can come out? Ooh, there's the, ooh, yep, that stinks. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. This is probably a mistake. I'm gonna cut the whole thing in half, because we need half. There's basically two batches of soup we have to make, because it's made two different ways. The third soup really is not much of a third soup. It is actually just, this is a terrible knife, I'm just saying. Oh, look at that, there you go, nice cross section. Look down, Bobby Vision, wow, great. Um, well, I guess I'm just gonna use my hands to scoop this out, probably not the best way, but you know what, might as well. Okay, ooh, this is like touching spider webs. I should probably like use a spoon or something. Ooh, I'm gonna use a, sp I'm gonna use a spoon. In the comments below, tell me if there's a better way to do this. That's, that's awful. 
That's just awful. How does this become pumpkin pie? How does this become pumpkin pie? Should I, be, should I just do this? No, that's too easy. <laughs> Continue to live difficultly. My Herculean pumpkin peeling strength. Okay, um, chicken broth, right? The recipe called for 500 milliliters, but it was clearly one of these, like a, like a square thingy that you poured, the, and if 500 milliliters was one whole thing, I think? Maybe it wasn't, maybe it wasn't. But this only calls for two cups of broth, and I feel like that's not a lot. But I trust the game developers, and we're rolling with that. Part of me said, no, maybe the whole thing was a, a whole liter. So we're starting with two cups of chicken broth, which I have loved, uh, poured out. There's no Ellen poured. Um, poured out into this thing. And I'm now pouring in my pot, and it is going everywhere. Great. Cool. Um, so we've done that. That was the first step. Now we need to put that, the pumpkin, and the onion all into the pot and put it to boil. Um, so I'm going to finish chopping the, the pumpkin because I can't do anything until I throw the pumpkin in there. Now if you remember in the game, I literally did just, I literally did just dump the pumpkin in there. Is there, is there a way to do this? Because obviously I don't want pumpkin skin in there. Oh, I'm so terrible. I don't think this pumpkin is ripe. I don't think this is a pumpkin for cooking. I think this is a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. I, uh, th there, more research should have been done. I'll, I'll be the first to admit it. So feel free to just use canned pumpkin. You don't have to, you don't, you don't, you don't have to, you don't have to be as dumb as I am. Oh, I've only done a piece of one, good. All right, I've got all my pumpkin. Come here, you little runaway scallywags. Come here. Okay, more of your trying to escape. Good, great. Okay, we've got the got the pumpkin cut up. Um, addendum to step two: um, just buy canned pumpkin. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's going to taste good, but my gosh. All right, I think it's time for our secret ingredient, the lemon. Now, what you're gonna do? Hold on. What you're gonna do, ignore the pumpkin. You're gonna take your knife that you've already cut the pumpkin with, so it'll probably be a little pumpkin-y. You're gonna cut yourself a nice, that's not how you do wedges of lemon, but that's what I'm gonna say. So you cut yourself a nice little wedge of lemon, then you get yourself a glass and some water, and you pour the water in the glass, like so and then you squeeze the lemon in the glass. Oh, and it's just a refreshing, wow, that's tart. Um, it's a refreshing beverage. That's the secret. It doesn't go in the soup at all. Fooled ya. You always bought a lemon and you didn't need to. Tricked ya. I feel like this is an important point to uh, also mention something else. You're gonna need, wow, this box is torn to crap. One of these. Uh, immersion blender. You can see how often I use it because it's covered in dust. Um, my mom gave me this and I was like, what the heck? Cool. Uh, it's also called the Devil's Bowling Pin as proclaimed by me. Mate, can you stop being so skitsy? Um, I don't think I've ever used it. I don't even know if it works, but we're going to find out together. Because that's part of the, you got to puree the soup, so that's part of the thing. You can already see with Bobby Vision, we've got chicken stock in the pot, we've got our pump all cut up. Um, the other thing it calls for is an onion, so what we're going to do is we're just going to... Now, it, the recipe does not say to cut the onion at all. And if you remember, we would just plop the onion in the thing. And I don't know how the blender is going to handle that, but we're going to see. So, you know, when in Rome, when in cooking simulator, the next big piece is... So what it is is all of these ingredients are supposed to go in this pot at once and it's supposed to boil for 90 seconds in the game. So what I've kind of calculated it out based on some of the other recipes and stuff is that like one minute equals about like eight or nine minutes or maybe even like 10 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm just gonna go until, cause this pumpkin's pretty hard right now. So I'm gonna go until it's like soft and I can, you know, just kind of just, just, you know what I'm saying? Now you probably have already seen it and we're like, ooh, wow, what is that? Here we have the 
double induction wow. room. Very fancy. Uh, provided by NutriChef. Um, not for free, of course. I had to pay money for it. I have tested it, and it sounds like a jet engine going off when you turn it on. So let's, uh, let's find out. Function that looks like the middle finger. And so now I need to speak over the jet engine. We're not frying anything, but we're also really not steaming. 300 degrees seems to be a good temperature. There's like several settings, so I'm taking it as, as like 460 is like high. I want it to boil. I want it to, it needs to boil, so we need to get it hot. So we've got our two cups. We've got our singular onion. And I didn't talk about the amount um, for the pumpkin. It, it calls for one kilogram of pumpkin. And you're asking why am I not just dumping this all in from the cutting board? And it's because I'm very terrible at multitasking, so my brain can only handle grabbing up small handfuls of pumpkin and talking to you at the same time. So that's what we're doing. Um, one kilogram of pumpkin, which is 2.5 pounds of pumpkin. Um, so I had to buy a, a decently sized pumpkin. I had to buy a, a, a five pound little, little pumpkin. And it worked out well. So, okay, well maybe now I'm seeing why it's only two cups of broth is because so much of it's gonna come from the pumpkin. I'm picturing these stringy bits on the pumpkin are kind of like like the strings on a banana. And while it's probably something that's edible, you don't want to eat that. Like, have you even have you seen the video of the monkey? There's a video of a monkey that's even peeling off the strings off of a banana. Like, that monkey knows what's good. And it's not these strings, so we're gonna get rid of all this. Now, the reason I bought this induction cooker was so that you could watch obviously what's going on because my stove is like over there but it's like tiny and it's in a dark corner and there's probably a goblin that lives over there so you know we don't need that i am going to be moderately upset if after i'm done filming this i look up and it says it's okay to cook the pumpkin rind because that would have made my life a lot easier but there's not many things that you can eat the rind on. You're not gonna eat a watermelon rind, right? And this is kind of like a watermelon. In no way. <laughs> Aside from it being big and difficult to cut. In all my cutting, I totally forgot we were supposed to add salt and pepper. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. We gotta do our thing. Now it calls for 20 grams of salt, which by my calculations is a tablespoon and then a third of a tablespoon. So we're gonna do that. Tablespoon and that's a third. Great. And then it calls for 15 grams of black pepper and that is exactly one tablespoon of black pepper. Lovely. Sprinkly, sprinkly. That is a lot of pepper. Okay. Holy moly. All right, let's give this a little stir. We might be ready for to emulse, to emulsify this bad boy. That onion, ooh, it's getting soft. It's The outer layers are falling apart. Like Shrek's hopes and dreams. All right. All right, this might be it, everybody. I never want to see a pumpkin again as long as I live. All right. I think we're good. I'm going to swap this to warm, because that's a function on here, so I'm guessing that's like low or simmer. And that changed so quickly. I'm impressed with this uh, this thing that I've got here. I might start using this instead of my actual stove top. Clearly we've got, the pumpkin is, has changed color. It has become this yellowy color. This onion, still hard, still hard. I'm concerned, but we're gonna try it. So yeah, could be. That's dangerous. Let's do it. This is the coolest thing ever! This is the coolest thing ever. Oh. Oh my gosh. I love this tool. It's spraying everywhere. It's going everywhere, but you know what? That's half the fun, baby. Notice how I'm not... Oh, it's just, it's everywhere. Notice how I'm very pointedly avoiding the onion. Okay, here we go, moment of truth. 
smashes the watermelons with the hammer. Except I have an immersion blender and pumpkins. I can tell you right now, but the, I, I don't want to shout over the, the blender here, but uh, the smell of this is fantastic. And this is literally just pumpkin, onion, chicken broth, salt, and pepper. I think that's good enough. Now, uh, I forgot to mention an ingredient. I realized that while I was chopping the pumpkin. The final ingredient is sour cream. Um, it was more liquidous in form previously um, in the game so this is this is not this is like that like so you need two thirds of a cup of sour cream just, just like that this is a squeezable kind because I'm a child and I like to just squeeze it like on my chipotle because they never give me enough sour cream even though I always ask for extra that's a third of a cup it said wrongly so two thirds of a cup ish Whatever. Should have had it out to get room temperature. That's on me. I blame myself. Okay. We're going to take our spoon. Is this still hot? No, it's fine. Ooh, we're going to stir the sour cream in there. Oh, yeah. Let it just combine. This is much, uh, this is much darker than I thought it was going to be. It's more, like, golden than, like, orange. And that's fine. Whatever. You know, orange is just, like, my favorite color in a whole whatever. Wow, I think we're ready. A rogue. Ow! Piece of hot pumpkin. Oh. oh! I already like tasted it because it was on my fingers. This is really good. Wow. Okay. Did I buy these specifically for this? Maybe. My also my bowls that I have are crappy, and so I don't really have a ladle either. I'm using this spoon. So. Wow. Look at that. If you are cold on a, on a fall evening. Watch this. <laughs> you are cold on a fall evening. That looks terrible. <laughs> Whatever. Here it comes. Bon appetit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm getting little bits of onion, so I wouldn't. It's very peppery too. That's too much pepper. Wow, it's very peppery, but it's very good. Mmm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I am impressed. Again, I'm getting little crunchy bits of onion, so I would say if you're gonna make this, and this was called fast pumpkin soup. There was nothing fast about it. It's literally taken me 45 minutes to make this. Um, the, uh, I would cut like the onion in half, or I would dice up the onion. I was just, I didn't do that for, for the fun. Mmm. Wow, wow, wow. That is so good. I am not exaggerating. This is really, really good. Okay, so that was the fast pumpkin soup. Now we'll make the base for the second and third level of pumpkin soup that has a little bit more involved in it. And, uh, you know, we'll see how that one tastes. So we've got our pumpkin already all chopped up, which I did in the meantime, which was smart because I'm a smart boy. Um, the second, for the second piece, um, we've got a whole nother, <coughs> got a whole nother onion. Oh, that's a strong onion. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh, hey boy. Um, and we're just gonna, dice that up real, or not dice it, we're just gonna slice it up, cause we're gonna, come at me. Whatever, fine, can we do that? Be uncooperative, we're gonna slice it up cause we're gonna, we're gonna do what's called sweat the onion. We need a little bit of olive oil, we're gonna put that here in the pan. And then we're gonna turn it on, and we're gonna function fry. 300, that's middle. Well, we wait for that to heat up a little bit so I can sweat these onions. 
Beats me with soup. This one also calls for two cups of broth. And there was four cups in there. Good. Great. And now we don't need this anymore. Alright, so our thing's heating up here. This heats up really fast, and it also recognizes when there's not a pan on it, so you probably couldn't, like, I mean, you probably could burn your hand off. We're just sweating the onions a little bit. What that means is not literally that you're adding your own sweat to the onions. Don't, don't be weirded out. Um, you're literally just, you're literally just kind of like getting the moisture out of the onions. You're making it so that it's not going to make you cry when you do it. And again, I just did a rough chop because I suck at cutting onions. Um, but it's all going in here, it's gonna get blended up anyway, so. Uh, for this one, we're gonna put it to, well, well, we'll do these real quick. Ah! You just want it to turn translucent. That's when you know that everything is all good with the onions. Translucent, if you don't wanna go grab a dictionary and don't know what it means, it means that it's see-through. You can see through the onions. So like right now, you can't see, ow, oh, that's hot. You can't see through that. That was too unsee throughable. You know what? Let's add our spices and stuff in here as well, too. Because we got a couple new friends to add to the mix. We got three cloves of garlic that I now have to painstakingly peel out of the bowl. Oh my gosh, it's a mess. Now, I like garlic, so I'm going to add three. I think it really only calls for like two. But, oh, there's a baby one in there. Well, you can go for a second. Now, here's the best way to smash out some garlic. Get it. That is not the best way. Because that garlic went flying. <laughs> You're supposed to be able to smash it and then pull it out of the paper. We're really just going to be blending it up. So Banjo, please don't eat the garlic. I've inadvertently made more of a mess doing it this way with garlic. You can buy the pre-diced garlic. I won't blame you because I do that normally too. Okay, that one's gone. They're just shooting all over the place. Imagine me at like a hibachi grill. Just shouting about my knife and clinging garlic everywhere. Onions are going in the pot. Good. Okay. And then we're adding everything else. The garlic. Pumpkin. Now we're gonna add all our spices. It calls for 15 of pep. I'm going for 15 grams of pep, one tablespoon of pep. I'm doing it. Pep. Angel, get out of it. Okay. And then salt. As previously mentioned, thyme. Didn't have any fresh thyme, so I gotta settle for this. And I had a teaspoon. There it is. It's a half teaspoon. I need one and a half teaspoons. It was called for one and a third tablespoons of fresh. And then I had to do some math about what would be for dry, and that's what we're doing there. So some time in there. The last thing that we do need it for is our croutons. And I've already bought this pre-sliced bread. I actually had another loaf of bread um, that I had bought of this very same kind, and I was like, I'll leave it out for a couple of days, and it'll get stale, and it'll be perfect for croutons then. Um, and then I went to pick it up today to use it, and I found that the it had turned blue and started to grow a colony of mold. And so I said, well, that's not something I want to feed anybody, especially not myself. You save room for the good soup. This, this is okay soup. Oh, all right, I think we're about good on this. I'm gonna go off. Then I'm gonna turn this bad boy on and we'll start frying these croots on the side. Meanwhile, the boy is back in town. Let's get this. stir. So two-thirds of a cup of sour cream yet again. And that is the soup. So we've got our pumpkin, our onion, our garlic, thyme, pepper, salt, and of course the chicken broth and then sour cream to finish her off at the end there. There we go. There's that. Get out of here. And last but not least on this one, 
Remember cilantro, our friend, my best friend? Got a little spray. Dude, this one's too gangly. It's gotta look pretty. Eh. Boom. Just like that. Delicately garnished. I'm gonna grab my other spoon. Why did I do that? Because now I have the taste of the other one in my mouth. Stupid, stupid idiot. All right, here we go. So this is level two, no croutons. Oh. Oh my gosh. That is so much better. Like the other one was good. This one, okay. I said too much pepper on the other one. The pepper is offset by, fry, I don't know if it's frying the onions or adding the garlic or maybe it's the thyme in there now. One of the three new things we added has changed the flavor drastically. Mm, that's hot, but very good. Mmm, so good, so good. All right, and now, Here's how you make it level three. You got a couple croutons. <laughs> Let's see if the crouton takes it to that next level. bread you know if you had some crusty bread that you were eating with this or something like that yeah I could totally see that mm. it was very good <laughs> very good wonderful well I hope you enjoyed I hope you've been able to keep up with everything I will put in the description um, detailed lists of how I did everything I know I was jumping all around and trying different things and this was kind of an experiment because I couldn't follow what the game said I followed the recipe to the T um, in the game and it came out great. So, so far so good in terms of cooking simulator. They did some research, they know what they're doing. So leave a like if you like this. Let me know if I should do more. I wanna do more from cooking simulator. I have a Legend of Zelda cookbook. I have an Elder Scrolls cookbook. I've got a Fallout cookbook. I have other cookbooks that I wanna buy that are related to things and I wanna try cooking things. So if you guys like this, let me know. I appreciate you for checking in as always and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day.